Hello, PRP, and welcome to this week's edition of Ridge News. I'm Colin. And I'm Jacob. Let's start this week with a recap of sports. PRP basketball ended their season falling to J-Town in the semifinals of the regionals. The Panthers ended with an overall record of 21-11. Now let's take a look at 2017's high school baseball state champions, the Pleasure Ridge Park Panthers, as Noah gets their reaction from winning state. Thanks, guys. The ACT is coming up, and I'm not exactly ready for it. How about you, Colin? I'm getting there, but don't let that get to you. Do your best on it. Here are talented students that always try their best. Ridge reporter Sheridan Wayne should bring us this week's Talent at the Ridge. My name is Taylor Sparks. I'm a senior here at PRP, and my sport is soccer. Although I do softball as well, but I haven't done that in a couple years. I've been playing soccer since I was four years old. I love it because I love to run and like push people down. I'm aggressive, so that's good. PRP has been my favorite place to play soccer at because our team is like we fit well together and we all get along and we're all sisters. But I've played at the Y mostly. That's the only other place that I've played. And it's just really fun. And then in college, I'm not going to play soccer for UVL because that's where I'm going to college, but I will be doing the intramural soccer. Thank you, Sheridan and Waynesha. Now let's take a look at how St. Patrick's Day is celebrated around the U.S. Thanks, Noah. Now, Colin, do you know what perseverance means? No, I don't. But do you even know, Jacob? Not exactly. Reporter Marissa brings us a piece on students what, to teach us what perseverance really means to them.
Miss Henry had her kids write an essay on perseverance and was blown away by the responses she got. Here's a few of their pieces. At one point in time, I didn't know what to do with my future. I felt like a disappointment. My grades were slipping. I didn't even know if I wanted to go to college or even what I planned to do for the future. I was close to giving up, but then I realized I'm going to have a future no matter what I do. So I should make it a good one and do what I love most. I overcame my obstacles by talking to my family. They let me realize that it's normal to be confused about my future. Perseverance is important for American heroes. I've lived with mental illness for a good two years of my life. And when you have depression and bipolar and anxiety, people think that you're crazy. Well, I push to show that I'm not crazy, that I can be normal just like everybody else as long as I push and I work hard on myself and I do what I'm supposed to do and I take my medication and that just because I have mental illness doesn't make me crazy or different than anybody else that I can still be a normal person just like everybody else. Um, I guess not really a speech but a motivational quote about perseverance is is that you can't get through life without it, right? You have to have it whether it's in school or your everyday life or your work life. Um, you know, it's important to not give up when things get hard because if you give up when things get hard, you'll never accomplish anything. Nothing worth getting, you get easy, right? You've got to work for everything. So um, I guess that would be kind of my motivation for um, making sure that students are persevering in their lives and in, in school too. Thank you, Marissa. Now let's go over to reporters Diego and myself for a question of the week. I so me personally, I'm not prepared for the ACT, but I'm taking the first ACT for free for the March, what, March 20, 20th. I'm taking that one, and then I'm going to take, like, the two in summer just to see where I'm at and everything so I know, you feel me, step by step how it goes and everything. You feel me? I'm not prepared at all, but you feel me? I'm going to take this ACT, and I'm going um, to. Me, personally, I feel like I'll do okay on the ACT. Um, I've been studying for it, so... It's just a toss of a coin now. Me, personally, I think I'm really prepared for the ACT because the only thing that I had trouble with was the math and I've taken the ACT class for, for it. So, and I've already taken half of it. So I think I'm pretty prepared for it. Signing off from Rich News, I'm Colin. And I'm Jacob. Have a safe weekend, PRP, and happy St. Patrick's Day.